Hello? 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 This is Jason calling you from UCSF Medical Center. The reason of this call is we are providing free medication while you are doing that, so you don't have to go anywhere and it will be fully covered by your health insurance. Okay. So, so how many medications are you taking daily? Uh, about nine. Well, what did you say the name of the company was? UCSF? Yes, sir. UCSF Medical Center. Where is that at? It's located in Florida. Florida? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so I will be filling out a simple form of yours for the shipping purposes of your medication. Filling a form? Okay, sir. Yeah, I will be filling out a simple form of yours for the medication for the shipping purposes. Okay, shipping purposes. I didn't know you could do yes, that. Sir. I didn't know that. Okay, sir. So can you please tell me what your zip code? Yeah, six zero six zero four. Okay, sir. It's six zero six zero four. Yep. Six zero six zero four. Yep. And sir, what, um, can you please tell your first name for me? My first name is Fritz. What, sir? Fritz. Wait. No, not Prince. Uh, okay. Fritz. 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 Okay, so you spell it for me. F. F as in Fritz. R as in Rick Rickenbacker, I as in I know what you're doing, T as in tacos, and okay. Z as in ZZ Top. Okay, so, and what's your last name, sir? Like a glove. What, sir? Like a glove. Okay, so can you spell it? Yeah, L I K K A G. Yeah. L I D K. L I K K A G A G L O V L O V Yeah, it's a Switzerlandish name. Uh, back in the day, my family was from the old country. Okay, sir. Yeah. You know, this, this, this is UCSF Medical Services. We are providing free medication. So I just free medication? Yes, sir. Free medication? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds fine. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. What's your street address, sir? Well, the street address now, 230 South Dearborn yeah. Street. Yeah. 230? Yeah. Yep. Dearborn Street. Wait a minute, sir. What? 230 yeah. South. Yeah. South Dillborn Street. Dearborn, not Dillborn. Dear, it's okay, not so Dearborn Street. Not Dill Hole either. That's that's somebody else completely. Two thirty South Dearborn Street. Yeah. And uh, it's Wisconsin. No, this is in Chicago. I used to live in Wisconsin, but uh, so, no sooner yeah, okay. than I got the last coat of paint on this house, it took me twenty years to build. My wife decided that she didn't want me around anymore, so I've uh, we've divorced, and I live in Illinois now. Oh, all right. Yeah. 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 Say what did you say your name? What did you say your name was again? I, I didn't write it down. My name is Jason Murphy. Jason Murphy. Okay, Jason Murphy. Thank you. Yes, so Mr. Fred, uh, can you hear me good? I can hear you good, uh, Mr. Jason Murphy. Uh, so Mr. Uh, Mr. Fred, if I may ask, uh, what's your date of birth? If you have your birthday? Uh, none of my birthdays have been happy for about fifty years, maybe even sixty years. I've not had a happy birthday, but my birthday is April first, nineteen hundred and fifty-seven. April first, nineteen fifty-seven. That's right, Jason Murphy. All right. 
So, Mr. Fred, uh, everything has been done by my side. I just lost it. Do you have any Humana insurance? Well, I thought I did, but I don't know why. Does it say on your screen that I missed a payment or something? Oh, actually, we cannot accept a, a Humana patient. That's why. I don't know. I'd have to ask Trixie. Trixie keeps track of all that stuff, and she's off to the casino. You're not sure about that, right? What? So you're not sure about the Humana, right? I don't know. I'd, I'd have to ask no. Trixie, you know. Now, you shouldn't go telling people you're going to give them a bunch of free medicine unless, you know, they have Humana insurance or something. You have to say that before, Jason. You have to say that earlier in the conversation. I don't know. All right. So, Mr. Fritz, actually, now I'm all done. So, what I'm going to drink for your delivery purpose, I'm going to quickly connect your call with our shipment department so they can arrange the delivery process for your home delivery of your medications, okay? Okay, it all sounds kind of sketchy. Are you, are you sure you're not working for one of these scam call centers I've heard about? They all say they're in Florida. I don't understand your concerns, sir, but actually the thing is that we are with the U.S. Medical and we are here to provide the people for the home delivery of medication. What do you mean by the U.S. Medical? That doesn't even make any sense. I'm almost sure you're working for a scam call outfit now. I'm worried about you. If you're not interested, sir, it's not too much worry about it. Well, Thank you, you so said you, you, you sound like a scammer. I think you should get a different job. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi, my name is David Brown. How are you doing today? I'm David Brown. I'm good. How are you? Well, the reason of this call is to let you know about your Medicare. Do you have Medicare in the... Yeah, I asked how you were doing, David, and you just kind of glossed over that. Is everything okay? You all right? Hello. Hi, I am Sarah. Oh. Calling you from Life Growth. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm reaching out to you as this is the annual enrollment period 2024, and you can qualify for increased grocery coverage, flex card, and increased cash back up to $174. I believe you have active Medicare card A and B, um, right? I believe I get about 30 calls like this a day. I'm going to connect you to my senior supervisor who will assist you further. I thought you might. I thought so you might. Stay with me. Yeah, stay with you, right? Hannah, how are you doing? I'm good, Hannah. How are you? Fine. Am I speaking with Timothy Fanon? Uh, Timothy Fanon is right. Yeah, Hannah. Who's calling, please? Okay. What's this all about? Uh, this, uh, let me tell you, sir. I'm calling you from RA. We deal with your pharmacy. From where? Uh, we are providing... Uh, from medications management. Now, hold on, Hannah. That's not what you said. That's not what you said the first time. You said RX Pharmacy, online pharmacy or something. You, you gave me two different company names. What's the name of the company that you no, work for? RX, RX, RX. Okay, I'm so the, you the name of the company, yes. huh? The name of the company is RX? Hannah? Yeah. Uh, Hannah. Hello. Hello. Hi, this is Felisa speaking from American Diabetic and Pain Association. How are you doing today? Uh, Felisa, I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you for asking me. I'm calling to check if you are a diabetic by any chance. Are you a diabetic or not, sir? Well, do you work for a company that just calls people out of the blue that don't have diabetes? That would be insane. Who do you, who do you I'm, work for? I'm calling, from, I'm calling from orthopedic supplies, okay, sir? Orthopedic supplies? Yes. I thought you were asking Army. about diabetes. Yes. Well, this sounds like a scam call to me. Because uh, you know you're, you're just all over the place. You, what's the name? What's the name of the company you work for? I'm worried about you. I'm worried about you. Can't even shut the phone off. I'm sorry. Can't even shut the camera off, and the phone is ringing. With yet another scam call. Hello. 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 
This is Alicia from Accidental Claim Support. How's your day going? I don't know. Accidentally okay, I guess. We're reaching out to verify if you've been involved in a car accident within the past two years and the compensation for being injured is still pending. So you had an auto accident in the last two years. Yeah, that's right. We have a team of experienced attorneys who specialize in handling such cases, and they would be more than willing to assist you in obtaining the compensation you deserve. Please stay on the line for a brief moment, and I'll connect you with them right away. Okay. I'll stay on the line. <laughs> All right, thanks for holding on. This is Sam Gabriel from Accident Clear Solution. How are you? Uh, uh, Sam Gabriel, I'm good. How are you doing? Yeah, I got nothing. I can't, no explanation for that at all. Hello. 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 Hi, this is Aria with the Senior Advisor. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay with the delay. What's happening today? You as this is an annual enrollment period for 2024. What? And you can qualify. No. Increased grocery coverage, Stop it. card, and increased no. cash back. You got you gotta be kidding me. You've just gotta be kidding me. This is impossible. How how has this even happened? Hello? I believe you have Medicare card A and B. Oh right? my god. Is have I won the lottery? Is it my birthday? Hello? Hello? My name is Jennifer and how are you doing? I'm good, Jennifer. How are you? I'm good too. Thank you so much for asking. Oh sure. Well, sir, right now, uh, yeah, well, right now, you are perfectly qualified to get additional benefits like prescription drug plan, automatic refills of your medication at your doorstep with no extra cost. Okay. So that's why, sir, can you please tell me how old are you? What's your age right now? Well, Jennifer, could you tell me again what's the name of the company that you work for? Yes, uh, yes, sir. I'm from Medication Management Services. Medication right Management now, Services? Management Services. Now, where? Uh, so right now, Jennifer, where is Ma Management uh -huh. Medication Services located? Where is your company located? Uh, sir, we are, sir, we are in Houston, Texas. We're in Houston, Texas? Where? Okay, what's the street address? Uh, yeah. I get a lot of scam calls. Right. I get a lot of scam calls, so I'd okay. like to look this up online uh -huh. to make sure that you're legit. What What's the street address in Houston, Texas? No, do you want to visit? No, I want to check and see if you're a scammer or not. But with your I attitude, you know, with your okay. attitude, I, mean, I can already like tell that you are a scammer. Huh? Scammer? You little snotty attitude scammer? Huh? Do you want to visit? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, uh, this is James. How you doing today? I'm good, James. How are you? Okay. Sounds uh, good. All well, right, then. The purpose of my call is to inform you that the state has recently approved a new vital expense whole life insurance. Really? What it does, it is going to cover 100% cost of your funerals, burials, or cremation expenses. Uh -huh. And it will also give you an option to leave some money for your loved ones. Uh -huh. So would you like to learn more about it? Well, I guess I would, yeah. I'd like, yeah. Cool. Uh, let me ask you this. Are you between the age of 40 and 80? I am I am between the ages of 40 and 80. That's correct. Great. Uh, I'm just going to quickly connect you with a, a product specialist right away. Please hold on. Okay. Your call is very important to us. Please He's in line. You'll be transferred to the next level agent. Thank you so much for staying on the line. This is Grayson. How are you? Uh, Grayson, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. So you transferred over to me, and I'm going to assist you further about your fall expense codes. Okay. You know, how old are you? Well, I'm 67. All right, and are you the one who makes the financial and medical decisions by yourself? Oh, yeah, yeah. Funny story. Um, I just had asked my old lady Trixie about that this morning before she was out the door to the casino, and she tells me I make all my own decisions. Uh. Hello. Hello. This is David from US in your life. How are you doing today? So far, so good. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, David, how are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. So this call is regarding final expense or life insurance plan, which is designed to cover the cost of a 
percent of your burial funeral that cremation expenses. Okay. And the and the good thing is you can also leave behind some money as a good gift of love for your loved ones for family. So for a qualifying purpose, may I ask some questions? How old are you? Well, I'm 67. 67. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So at the beautiful age of 67, do you make your own financial decisions? You know, it's funny that you would ask that. I, I do, of course, but it's funny that you would ask that today of all days, because just this morning I asked Trixie, my old lady, about that, and she said I make all my own decisions. So, yeah, I make my own decisions. Okay. So, I do believe you have an active checking or saving bank account. Right? Yeah, or yeah. I got checking accounts, and I got saving accounts, yeah. Okay. So, what is your zip code? The new zip code six zero six zero four. Okay. And the last question is, what is your date of birth? My date of birth is April first, nineteen fifty-seven. Okay, I got you. Sir, by the way, you're a smoker, non-smoker. Non-smoker. Cigarettes are bad for you. Okay. After all from my side, I am going to transfer this call to my product specialist. Okay. They will guide you more further. Say, so, so okay. is it just uh, cremation and burial that you handle, or do you know, is it possible to get my remains um, sent oh, into I space? Know. What are you saying, sir? See, I just wondered if it's possible to get your remains uh, sent into space. I hear people are doing that now. You know, set the controls for the heart of the sun, and they just throw you right out into space. Can we do that? It is not possible, sir. Oh, I thought people, I saw on the TV, people are doing it. I saw it on TV. <laughs> Hello, this is John with American Benefits. How are you? I'm good, John. How are you? Good, sir. Also fine. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Actually, actually, I am calling to inform you about a new law called Final Expense Program that is improved in your state. Oh. This program will cover 100% of your funeral, burial, and cremation expenses. Okay. So please, so please let me ask how old are you? Well, I'm 67, John. Perfect, sir. Perfect. Oh. What's your zip code, sir? Uh, 60604. Oh, okay, sir. You tell you... Your first name and last name. What's your first name and last name? Well, my first name is Fritz. Now, say, are there other options other than burial and cremation? Because I saw on a TV the other day that they're, sent, they're throwing the, the, the people out into space, and they just set the controls for the heart of the sun. Could I, I saw it on TV. Is that an option where I could get thrown out into space? Listen, Mr. Your last name, sir. More de details, my senior... Please. Oh. More detail, my senior. More detail, More my detail. senior, please. My last yes, name, sir. my last name is spelled L I K K A G L O V. L I K A G. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. I'm connected to my senior. Please stay with me, okay? Okay, I've got my own house, but uh, I think I'll just stay here. Okay, Thank you. Thank you, sir, but huh? Just a second. Just oh. a, one second. Okay, please. okay. Yeah, thanks for all we got. This is Alex calling from Senior Benefits. How are you doing today? I'm good, Alex. How are you? I'm also fine. Thanks for asking. Good. Can I speak to you? Or 67 years old with a zip code of 60604. Is that correct? That's correct. And how do you pronounce your first and last name? My first name is Fritz. And your last name? My last name is Like a Glove. Okay. And are you a smoker or non smoker? I'm a non smoker. Non-smoker, and do you make your own 
don't have a decision, like I get the decision maker about yourself. You know, it's so it's very ironic that you would ask me that today of all days, because literally just this morning I asked my old lady Trixie about that exact thing, and she tells me I make all my own decisions. Uh, yeah, I make okay. all my own decisions, absolutely. That's good. And who would be a beneficiary, like a son, daughter, and spouse? Well, my kids are in prison. The two boys are in prison, and my daughter's in the county jail. Now, and my wife, of course, my wife and I are divorced, uh, recently divorced. So my beneficiary would be, again, my old lady, Trixie. Okay. And do you have a savings or checking account? Oh, yeah. I got a chicken account, and I got a savings account, and then I got another chicken account, too. I have two chicken accounts and one savings. Okay. Okay. So now what what are we doing here, Alex? So how much storage you are looking for? Like five thousand, ten thousand, fifteen thousand, ten thousand. Well, I don't know how much it costs to get cremated and I don't know how much okay. it costs to get buried. How much does it cost to get cremated? I have a license agent who will purchase if you please stay with me and don't hang up the call, okay? Now Alex and another thing is uh I see now people are getting shot off out into space. And then they just set the controls for the heart of the sun, and they throw you out into space. Can I do that instead of getting uh, 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 cremated? Because I'm a, I don't like the heat. Hello? Yes, yeah, stay with me. I'll cross in your call to light that agent. Okay. So okay, and then, too, I'm kind of claustrophobic, so I thought getting sent out into space might be the answer for me. Hello? Thank you so much for taking the call. My name is David. Who am I speaking today? Uh, David, you're speaking well. Thank you so much for taking the call. My name is David. Who am I speaking today? What's your name? Oh, my name's Fritz. All right, Smith, how are you doing today? Not, no, not Smith. It's Fritz. Got it. How are you doing today? Doing I'm, I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, you're looking for life insurance for yourself or someone else? No, well, for myself. And you make all of your decisions, right? Yeah, you know, I, everyone keeps asking me that, and it's funny because I just asked my old lady Trixie that this morning. Just this morning I asked her that, and she tells me I make all my own decisions. That's so funny. Wisconsin? Well, not anymore. Now, I moved out of Wisconsin, and I'm down in Illinois now. I used to live in Wisconsin. You know, I built a house down in Wisconsin for myself and my and my ex-wife. But now my ex-wife, as soon as I got the house done, you know, just a few years back, she, she decided she wanted me out. So uh, we've, we're divorced, and I live in Illinois. Hello? Hey, I still need to know if I can get shot off out into space. Hello? I'm waiting for an answer. Uh, they haven't disconnected yet, but something tells me they're not coming back. Hello? 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 Yeah, hi, good afternoon. My name is David Bryan from Home Warranty Services. How are you today? I'm good, David. Uh, how are you? I'm also fine. Thank you so much for asking. Well, actually, I'm not going to hold you for a long time as we are running a great promotion about home warranty. And I believe that I'm speaking with the homeowner of Single Family Home, right? That is correct, David. Uh, that is correct. Got it. And do you make your own decision? You know, it's very funny that you that uh, you'd ask me that right now, um, because ironically enough, I just asked my old lady Trixie about that this morning, and she tells me I make all my own decisions. So, yeah, I do. Got it. So let me tell you. Basically, we are with the home warranty, and the home warranty cover all of your home appliances and operating system in your home oh? for full repair and replacement. Okay. If all. Something happens to break down or yeah. if it needs repair. We cover all of your electrical system, plumbing system, and all of our appliances in your home that will be covering a home warranty. Okay, all of my, all of my appliances, yeah. all of my appliances. Yeah. 
Yes. Now, does this, have, uh, does, this, does this cover yes. small appliances, like kitchen top appliances, like toaster ovens? That cover your all of our appliances. Let me tell you, we are running a 50% off promotion about a home warranty. Okay. That covers your 25 appliances and your major... 25? Hold on now. 25. It, it covers 25 appliances and that's it? No more? Yeah. Okay, because I have a lot of a, I have a lot of appliances. I have a Binford okay. 5000 Toastomatic toaster oven. Would that be covered? Yeah. Okay. And how about my Waffletron 183 uh, waffle maker and donut fryer? That's covered too. Yeah. Okay, and then I got but some electric. I got no more than 25. Okay, I've got a pair of electric spatulas, the uh, um, the Electrovolt Bell and Howell electric spatulas. Or would those be covered? Apparently, the electric spatulas are not covered.